So let me share this random story. So I was looking through my comments on my last video and I saw one from the homie Toot Toot McBongers and Toot Toot McBongers said, purple triangles. Also, I like your hat, very Sinatra-esque. Um, thank you. And let me explain. I posed a question on the community tab, trying to see what kind of ideas that you wanted me to talk about. And then Jin was like, greetings. I don't have one idea in mind. You could talk about psychology, the mind, the collective unconscious, the benefits of meditation, the ego. It's your channel. So you could talk about purple triangles if you wished. Um, I would, but given the horrific history associated with purple triangles, I I'm not going to try to make light of that kind of stuff. So um, how about we talk about triangles and um, the color purple? So here we have a picture of Dorito spicy sweet chili, the most underrated flavor in the world. And when you zoom into the picture, you can see the famous purple background behind these triangular chips that Doritos are known for. You know what else is purple and famous? Prince's magnum opus, Purple Rain, released in 1984. Get it? 1984 is also the haunting piece of literature by Nostradamus descendant George Orwell. Now, this novel speaks of a dystopian world as the result of uh, extreme technological advancements put into well-intentioned but power-hungry hands. But that's not even the important part here. When we go back to Purple Rain, we notice that track 6 is the hit song, When Doves Cry. Now, this is really important because when do doves cry? Exactly. When they fly over a dystopian society mentioned in 1984 by tea-drinking enthusiast George Orwell. That's when they cry. Now, this is where it gets really spicy, get it? Because who else cried? Gordon Ramsay. Because in the 1980s, get it? Gordon was trained under the authoritative rule by none other than Marco Pierre White, who had a spicy demeanor, get it? So, this is where it gets really interesting. According to Marco Pierre White, Gordon Ramsay chose to cry. Get it? Now, it's important to mention that after his successes, Marco Pierre White chose to give it all away because he did not like the idea of wasting his life toiling for approval from a bunch of Neanderthals in the food business who were less intelligent than him. So, he gave up his Michelin stars. And then sometime later in his life, he starred on Hell's Kitchen in Britain in 2007. Now, the seven in 2007 looks like an isosceles triangle with a missing side. And this is where not even the cushion of the Michelin man, get it, could brace the impact of how I felt earlier in the week. Because who else had a missing side? Me! I had a missing side! Because earlier in the week when I was hanging out at the restaurant, they forgot my goddamn papayas, so I asked politely to get that stricken off the check. And you know, they were actually pretty cool about it. Um, the transaction was smooth and they handed me the receipt, but then there it was. On the corner of the receipt, a triangle written in purple ink. Or I don't know, maybe it was a shitty circle. So Jin and Toot Toot McBongers, thank you for the comments. Um, now I demand you give me two orders of French toast in Denny's in Japan.